from Austin, Texas at the tech gathering of the year. They call it spring break for geeks. Rackspace, the open cloud company, presents the Scobalizer with the movers, the doers, shaking things up and impacting our world. Now, Robert Scoble. I'm Robert Scoble and you're at the uh, Rackspace Open Cloud Experience here at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, 2013. It's Sunday morning. It's a little rough. <laughs> but we're uh, going to bring you a constant stream of really interesting entrepreneurs who are building uh, apps and services on the, uh, on the cloud. And we're trying to find out where the bleeding edge of the internet is. So, uh, South by Southwest is a very unique conference or event. Uh, there's 100,000 or so people. They, they claim 200,000. I don't know if I believe those numbers, but there's a lot of people in town. Uh, just getting a taxi is three hour wait in a lot of places, so it's a lot of fun. But when you come to uh, an event like this, South by Southwest, there's uh, last night there was literally, I don't know, seven, uh, seven parties that I knew of, and I don't know about all of them. <laughs> A lot and more, I guess. A lot more, you know. And there's right now there's uh, panel discussions going on and keynotes all over the city. And so you need a, an app to really keep track of your day and sort of figure out where you want to go to next because there, everywhere you go, you, you have to plan on getting around. And also you want a little bit of serendipity. You want to find, uh, find out what's going on. So Bazabo is here, and we're going to talk about event, the event space with... Uh, all the apps that are on the iPhones, they make a great app that I use use to track where I'm speaking and all that fun stuff. So, welcome. Who are you? So I'm uh, Alon, one of the co-founders of uh, Bizable. Um, yeah, so Bizable, our goal was actually to build a great app for events. So for event goers, it's an app that helps you to find the upcoming events, but mainly to, to network with the right people at those events. Yeah. For event organizers, it's a way to mobilize and socialize your event in less than five minutes. Um, whether you organize a small meetup or a tech conference or even a trade show, um, or just connecting the dots yeah. between the different players in the event space, attendees, organizers and from last week also sponsors yeah at south by th this kind of app makes a hell of a lot of sense because the whole goal here is to do networking really i mean i you know a lot of people want to go to a panel or a keynote but <coughs> really you can only see a couple a day because the they're sold out you have to wait in lines and it takes a long time to get around you know and uh, there's people who just live in the conference center but most people here in fact, I meet a lot of people who don't even have badges and right. are just here for networking because everybody's in town. So uh, how does it help you get around South by and, and, uh, and use it for an event of this scale? And then so we'll talk uh, about smaller events like what web or something. Yeah. So South by is, is a good example to emphasize um, why we're visible for. Actually, if you think about it, so the, the South by event has its own app. Which is pretty good. Um, I guess it took between six months to develop and a couple of hundred, hundreds of thousand dollars to, to make. Um, but as you said, maybe half of the people are badgeless and they don't have access to the app and mainly to the networking part of it. And now we make it easy for event organizers to just have their events on mobile with a very rich networking capability, whether it's a, just an, a happy hour or a conference taking place nearby and for event goers um, well let's let's try to search south by here so if I'm uh, searching visible for south by southwest now the stream of events that I'm seeing were either added by event organizers or were pulled from services like Eventbrite yep um, so and a lot of a lot of the parties are on Eventbrite now right because even, even if they're free parties because they want some idea of how many people are going to show up because exactly. crowd control here is really hard. I, you know, even Rackspace when we ha we've had two private parties at night and we've had lines down the block. And tonight we're going to have a public party, 
um, where we were going to talk about open cloud and ha you know hand out alcohol and all that fun stuff. Yeah. And um, we, we crowd control is really really difficult. You you don't you just don't have any idea of how many people are going to show up. Yeah. To be totally honest, Visible is not for parties. It's yeah. it's an app for professionals to to turn network. You log in using your LinkedIn account. Yeah. So. Um, well, but here at South by the event is the party. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That that's true. I, I didn't say that South by is the ideal, <laughs> is, is the, the ideal event for I us. I mean, most 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 events like a Le web will have one party, <laughs> you know, yeah. and everybody goes, and the, you know, the networking's done there. So really, for, you know, the, and that's the problem problem when you're talking about South by versus everybody else. Yeah, it's not a typical event. No, South by is a crazy, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, citywide event thing, and and there's right now there's brunches going on all over the city, and I, I see it on GroupMe. So I, I have the other thing is we're not using any one app anymore. We're using five or six apps together. Like four, a lot of people here are using Foursquare. A lot mm -hmm. of people are using Highlight. A lot of people are using Twitter. Uh, Path is being used a lot. I, I see that. Right. And then the. Uh, uh, group me, group me, kind of uh, group um, texting apps. And last night uh, I got on uh, um, Meeting Me or Meet Me, something like that, and it just started taking off here at South by, right? Um, let me, in fact, let me tell you. Uh, message me, sorry. Message me. And a new app that just okay. came out last week, and already, I mean, you see on my screen, 16 messages for me. You know, it just. Yeah, you're not the typical user, I guess. No, and South by is not the typical conference because the yep. the people at South by are are people like us. They're heavy, heavy, ultra uh, early adopters. Early adopters and high influence, right? The, a lot of people here have Twitter accounts with thousands of followers. Uh, a lot of people have blogs. A lot of people have Facebook pages that have uh, public Facebook pages. My dad doesn't even, you know, he doesn't want to do any of that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's a very different kind of event than if you go to a yeah, no doubt. orthopedic, you know, surgeon conference, right? No doubt. We try to make it easy for those conferences as well to have an, a great event app that anyone can benefit from. Yeah. Um, it, now, does Bizabo help you find events that you might want to go to in six months? Because that's another thing, I, you know. Yeah. Uh, if you come into the tech industry, you don't know what event to go to, and you, you have choices every, particular, particularly if you live in South, I'm sorry, in New York or San Francisco or Tel Aviv, there's parties and events and uh, conferences literally every yeah, week, right? The event discovery issue was, wasn't solved yet. Um, yeah. We are also hel helping you to find those events based on your industry and very soon from your friends. You'll be able to see where your friends are going to. Yeah, because and all my friends are already planning to go to La Web in Paris in December, right? And we, we already know that. And once you know that, now you should be starting to put, you know, what, 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 what track do you want to see? What speaker do you want to see? Who do you want to network with? And you're starting to yeah, so already build that plan for. So this is one of the advantages of being a multi-event app rather yeah. than those one-off white label apps. So for example, La Web as well. Most of the high-profile events have their own apps. Yeah. But to be honest, attendees, th if they download those apps, they do it on the day of arrival. Yeah. And then they delete it two days after the event is over. Yeah. But the event has a has a has a life before it starts and after, after it ends. And for example, let me just show you an example of an upcoming conference in San Francisco called uh, the Marketo Conference. Yep. So um, <coughs> I have an invite to that too. So oh, here you go. Um, I'm interviewing their, uh, their uh, executives in a couple weeks. So. so it took them maybe a half an hour to create all of it in the visible organizer dashboard on the web. And now you have all of the event information here. Yeah. You have the full agenda, which supports multi-tracks and multi-days and for each now session. How, how did you get that? Did, did they, they did it. So you, did you scrape it from the website or did, did you partner with them or did they no, put it right They're in officially there? using visible as ah. their app. So in the, in the in our web product for event organizers, they can just Go uh, to visible.com, what you see here in the back. Yep. 
and uh, this is their agenda, for example. So it has a full interface for event organizers that they can add agenda, they can see event analytics, they can send real-time announcements for attendees, they can uh, add their sponsors to the game. Now, now on the app, can, yeah. do I sign up for certain? Because if there's three tracks, I want to figure out how many people are going to go to each track so I can I can gauge, you know, uh, crowd control. Uh, so check if this one, out. If I, I I was a conference planner for a yeah. long time, and always we would have three rooms there, you know, and we would have one one room that was bigger than mm -hmm. the other two. And if I knew that one one event was going to be really uh, popular, can, like, I would move it into the big room and um, you know and play some. some so uh, uh, the real answer that we have that was analytics because if people mark sessions as favorite, yeah. Um, so we, but it's not reflected in the U UI yet. It's on a roadmap. Okay. Um, so you can save sessions to your calendar. Read more about the speakers. Follow oh. follow the speakers on Twitter, and LinkedIn. Yep. And. This is something new, actually, that we just released. So the organizer in our web dashboard can add sponsors yeah. and exhibitors because, as you know, they are a, a big part of the game. Oh yeah. And they, they can set they can set labels for <coughs> each sponsor. And then, if we go back to the app, you'll be able to see that for each sponsor, for example, Salesforce. Now attendees can really engage with that sponsor and like them on Facebook, read more about the company, follow them on LinkedIn or Twitter, and they'll be able to contact them via email or, or to call them through here, and so it's a great lead generation as well. So it really is connecting the dot between sponsors, exhibitors, and attendees, and the organizer. And to develop something like this one-off for your conference um, doesn't make any sense for a three-day event. But now that you have our platform, any event in the world can have a magnificent mobile app for his event. Yeah. Um, no, that, that makes sense. What's the competitive space for this? Is it, is it, is it really that one-off uh, event app, which most, app, most conferences don't, don't have the money to do that, yeah. right? Southwest, like you said, the big Le Webs and the Marketos and yeah. Salesforces, they have enough money to, mm -hmm. to make their own app. Um, but mo most smaller events, you know, right. you know, like a Ruby on Rails developer conference might not have, you know, their own event. Yeah, that's why Visible is I ideal for them. Yeah. Um, we had more than, because it's so easy to add your event and manage it, so we had more than 2,000 conferences use it in the past seven months yeah. uh, since we launched. And, uh, and the beauty is that the engagement level inside those events is very, very high. The number of messages and LinkedIn invites that is being sent. Regarding your question, the competitive landscape, so it is a it's becoming a very competitive market, yeah. and you need to have a great pro product in order to win. So on one hand, we have those white label event apps, and they, these guys develop great apps, but as you said, most conferences just can't afford it. So they are fighting about a small niche in the market, about those high-end conferences. Um, and in our, so our direct competitors are companies who develop those multi-event apps. Um, there aren't many of them, actually. Yeah. And it's a hard space to make money. And I, you know, I hit that as an event pr uh, planner. It, it's just hard to, to budget for things that are not essential to the attendees, right? And uh, a lot of these <laughs> events uh, still treat these things as non-essential. Yeah, but um, it's, uh, it's coming. I mean, organizers want to go mobile now, and they understand that their attendees expect it. Yeah. And, you know, in the past, many, many companies tried to solve this networking, and most of them either catered to the organizers or to the attendees. Yeah. Plancast, for example. Yeah. Um, or to the sponsors, and then nobody really used it, ex yeah. except for the sponsors. And so we decided, unlike other markets, we needed to have, like, one customer or one user that you need to be, uh, to have the best product for. In the event industry, you don't have a choice but to cater for both the organizers and the attendees and, and the sponsors. Yeah. Um, and we're doing it, it's, it's looking very good in a while. Very cool. How, what's uh, adoption going and, and how are you going to get known by users? You know, a, an orthopedic surgeon isn't as tied in the tech yeah. crunch and the, 
Read Write Web and all the uh, the press that we um, all deal yeah. with. Right? So it's a good question. We we are starting with the tech and media industries and to get the word out. Um, and our go-to-market strategy at the moment is for the event organizers because we do understand that you need you need them to you need them to push you. Um, and we have we have events like the Always On Media Bistro, uh, leading tech meetups. Um, the Brill, the Mercado, all of these guys are coming on board now. Um, but eventually we also have a growing community that are just joining events even without. So for example, for South By, they are not officially using us, of course, but you can see that there are hundreds of people already joined Visible yep. to the... Uh, yep. Yeah, and the number of messages that are just exchanging is No, is and there's a lot of event organizers who come here to get new ideas for bringing back to their event, so. This is a free of, uh, app? Yeah, it's a free app yeah. for organizers. It's free as well, but if you're gonna make money out of your sponsors in the app, so we, we know we just launched a paid product, so it's a freemium model yep. uh, for organizers. Depends on the number of sponsors you have. Yeah. So if you want to highlight one sponsor in the app, that, that's okay, it costs A. If you want to, uh, to highlight up to 20 sponsors, it's another package. Yeah. Since you're, you, you're an event guy and you're at South By, what, what's South By like for you? What's, what's walking around? It's in? very not typical. So it's, it's, a, it's an amazing event. Um, it's an amazing event and it's, uh, I think it will be a big mistake to try and, uh, and learn from what's going on here and to implement it on our product. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of people watching, you know, in India who don't get the chance to come here. What, what's it like walking around the street? You know? First of all, it's, it's lots of fun. Like, I meet tons of new people uh, with Visible, which, which is amazing uh, to meet people using your own app. Um, and the content is super. You, you see people that you don't have an opportunity to see them other place else. Yeah, um, everybody was talking about like Tim Ferriss's talk or or, uh, you know, I, I don't know. There, there's been so many talks. Of my, my best talks were <coughs> off stage, actually, just with people uh, in, in the street, just yeah. to, to bump into people. And I think that this is, would be my, my best tip, not, not to plan too much, just to go to the cool places and just hang out with people. Uh, so my best meetings were spontaneous, actually. Yeah, no, I had dinner with Stephen Wolfram the other day, and that was pretty, pretty cool, so. Um, where do we, we get it in the App Store? Is it uh, iTunes, is it Apple and Android? Or yeah, it's available for, uh, for in the I iOS Store and the Google Play. Yeah. And to add events, you need to go to visible.com, so any event organizer can just add his event for free. Yeah. And it really takes less than five minutes. It's very cool. And yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming by and being the thanks. first one in the morning. I know <laughs> it was rough for uh, it. Thank you. all three of us. Rocky's behind the controls on Thank the you, TriCast, the tr new tech TriCaster that we just got. And uh, we have a big new studio here at uh, Rackspace. So. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, all shipped in from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot of work to get here. So anyways, we're going to be continuing to do these all day long. So come back on the hour. Uh, and we're, uh, we have entrepreneurs that we're uh, pulling in from uh, uh, all over South By. A lot of fun. Yesterday we had the Leap Motion here yesterday. And uh, um, Oakley, I think, will drop by. Somebody from Lego Very might cool. drop by today. So it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and these, these will get up in a week or uh, two weeks because uh, we'll get the recordings up so everybody can watch them at home on their, on their leisure time. So thank you for joining us from the Open Cloud Experience. Uh, keep using the Rackspace Open Cloud. Uh, it's the only open source uh, cloud system out there. It's 800 companies working together to build a better cloud. And uh, we'll see you fr from here in a few more minutes with another entrepreneur. When Rackspace's live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest daily. Hmm. So good, it hurts.